Sagittarius. What up? Dope. Family, welcome to Swimming Through the Void. <clears throat> this will be a general message for the sign of Sag. Wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart, keep in mind we all have a ninth house as part of our birth chart. Time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. And these readings are timeless, y'all, so whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity, confirmation, to help empower you, and to help you align <clears throat> with your highest and most divine timeline. Tapping into my Sagittarian energy today, I use this faceted garden oracle. I'm sorry, I use this illuminated earth oracle deck to help me catch a vibe as I'm connecting with the collective energy. And Sag, this is a deep message that's coming through very straightforward though. Um, your path is being cleared. You are ascending. You're moving into a new state of being, a new state of consciousness. Obstacles are being washed away, wiped away, cleansed from your path internally and externally. You are getting things done and there is a lot of potential here for growth, for healing, for wisdom, um, and for forward movement along your path. There's a message coming through for my Sagittarians right now to take care of yourself. Pull your energy away where it needs to be pulled away. Maybe go into hermit mode a little bit. Pour into yourself at this time. Go into your Sagittarian cave, your guru cave. Reflect, integrate. Um, and let's prepare for this new chapter. Um, so, <clears throat> okay, there's this card peeking out. These two cards peeking out under this. And we might as well channel this other one under the obstacle card as well. I see you gaining clarity. I see things clicking. I see this epiphany coming in on what needs to be released. It feels like a whole phase, a whole chapter. And so maybe relationships, feelings um anything like that this is feeling like the middle world where you're integrating you're releasing you're clearing um and we are getting ready for what's to come so let's um <clears throat> jump into this tarot i'm gonna pray real quick damn i think either aquarius or aries started just like this with the death rebirth card on the bottom and this is that moths to flames energy here some of you are having an awakening a kundalini rising some of you guys are closing the door on a major cycle a major phase of your soul's journey and you're moving into something beautiful here like i said a lot of potential here to bring abundance to bring light to bring healing so um I'm going to pray real quick. Feel free to join me and we will dive into this message. <clears throat> Divine Mother, Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, messages for my Sagittarian family for their highest good today. Anything they need to hear, anything that they need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower my sages, any messages that, that will... Um, bring healing and bring them into alignment with their highest and most divine timeline with their highest self with their best life one two three four on the clock and of course above all with your will most high will be greatly appreciated all praise and glory forever and ever om amen shay one two three four look that angel number up Sagittarius there will be a message for you there <clears throat> what is the message for my sages today spirit what do we have here in the past energy some of you are dealing with a, a, a relationship in some capacity there's some healing happening maybe some release maybe this is what spirit is saying to pull your energy from maybe this is what's being washed away from um, washed clean washed out of your path washed out of your energy for some of you, it may be with family and friends. For others, maybe a lover, a romantic situation. What do we have in the past for Sage? For the Sage. <clears throat> On your path to becoming 
the guru, the sage, the wise one, the enlightened one. What do we have currently for Sagittarius spirit? Wow. Yeah, Sag, you're gaining uh, major clarity here, okay? We'll get into this in just one sec. What do we have as the theme of this reading spirit? Wow. You guys, this is a big message today. Sagittarius spirit coming through really heavily. Um, my nose itching can feel spirit's presence. Maybe some of y'all have been noticing spirit's presence in your reality, seeing the signs, the synchronicities, um, even things like animals crossing your path, songs on the radio, realizing that your entire reality is the divine and it is in constant communication with you at all times. We are part of our reality. Our whole reality is a part of us as above, so below as within so without as the universe so the soul it feels like my sages are connecting deep okay this really does feel like enlightenment it feels like an ascension what do we have incoming for sagittarius y'all wow <clears throat> what's the advice for sage Oh, he's purring. All right. Can I get one more message for the advice? Yeah, I'm okay. So there's definitely some of my Sagittarians are really dealing with some type of romantic relationship or a relationship that's really close. Okay. I'm think I'm seeing things pretty chaotic here in the past energies that now this is just the energy that led us up to where we're at so it can resonate in any capacity in your past like whether it's yesterday um or years ago okay <clears throat> i'm seeing a lot of chaos and conflict here and i'm really it feels like my sagittarians taking action to move out or through this chaos into something that is going to be abundant for them moving toward um, your manifestations moving toward what it is you're creating here in this world. So it feels like however this resonates, you are guided to take some sort of action away from a chaotic situation, bringing us to your current energy. I'm seeing a little bit of sadness. I, what I'm really seeing here is Sagittarius. It feels like something is, is crumbling this x paradigm especially with all of these retrogrades and transits that we're experiencing right now it's like this whole x paradigm is crumbling anything that is not aligned <clears throat> with what we're creating or, or what we're moving toward is sort of being cleared away with this deluge card right it's like the great flood anything that was not in alignment with this new world was cleared away Things are coming to an end, right? And you are transforming. You're um, going through this metamorphosis in a big way. It feels like you are gaining deep clarity, truly becoming enlightened, right? With this um, hanged man card. It's like the realization that everything you've been through um, has been you playing every role. And it's always and it's been for a higher purpose it's been for a deeper reason and this is where this clarity is sort of coming in and you're realizing how far you've truly come and you are deciding to do what's best for you you're deciding to move into this balance to move out of this turbulence to ground down into this new reality and there's this message coming through maybe for some of you, you're already here. You're taking care of yourself. You're getting into a, a meditation practice. You're getting enough rest. You're drinking enough water. But for others, this is a message from spirit saying, 
you're ascending on your spiritual journey here, on your path, Sagittarius. It's going to be so important to integrate, to pull your energy back, to go into hermit mode, to take care of yourself, to make sure you're taking it easy at this time. And you are in an, in an energy where you're open to this divine wisdom that looks like it's pouring through you at this time. You're moving in a new direction and this feels like the phase where you are between worlds you're integrating you're balancing like i said some of you are having a, an awakening a kundalini awakening so maybe some of you are dealing doing some some form of yoga or sadhana that is awaking that awakening that energy within you and it's almost like you're seeing the world through a different lens Bringing us to your incoming energy, Sagittarius. We have nines out here like crazy with the judgment card. <clears throat> so this is a major ending. This judgment card is this deep awakening. It is this huge release of this old version of yourself, this old version of life, this old phase and chapter. And ultimately, you taking all of that. We have the hermit card, just like that retreat card. You're taking, you know, you're taking that holiday. You're you're going into your cave, and this is where you're truly integrating this deep wisdom. The hermit has made it to the top of the mountain and is at this peak, at this point where Sagittarius you're overlooking the whole the path that you've taken to get to where you are and again things are clicking you're realizing oh my gosh I could have went around that obstacle I could have went this way this is where I went wrong here this is where I went right this is where we're integrating and we're becoming illuminated with this divine wisdom um not only can we oversee the path that we've taken to get to where we're at, but we can also see over the horizon now. So things are becoming more clear and we can see where we'd like to go. Where are we heading from here? And this is where we are in Sag. It really feels like you're planting these seeds and you're deciding to do you. I hear Sag like, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do what's best for me. I am going to move toward my wish fulfillment. I'm going to move toward my happiness and for some of my Sagittarians, you're choosing you for the first time. I'm hearing in a long time. For some of you, you're choosing you for the first time. Seven of Cups, there's a lot of choices here. There's a lot of different decisions you could make. And I hear my Sag is releasing, like really surrendering to the divine and saying, you know what? I'm going with what I feel in my heart is best for me, which is you closing doors and opening you know new doors are opening and that's what's coming through in your advice as well knight of wands eight of wands empress king of cups so this is you taking action sagittarius to move in a new direction to move toward the things that you're passionate about to move toward the things that are abundant in all aspects for you to move toward the decisions the relationships the places um that are nourishing you on a soul level right this is a very deeply healing message especially with the king of cups it, it feels like you're moving from this very healed space you're deeply connected with your intuition very emotionally intelligent at this time and you're moving from that space it feels like very heart-centered energy here <clears throat> I'm just seeing you moving towards so much beauty and so much abundance, so much balance here um, with this Libra energy coming through that you're moving toward. This is balance and harmony and beauty and you being able to experience that firsthand. I'm seeing relationships coming into your reality that are on your frequency that are giving back to you that are pouring into you that are abundant in all aspects and really moving away from whatever structures these were that were built upon an unstable foundation anything built upon a weak foundation right now in my sages lives is is feels like the divine is coming to tear it down to help you move away from this um very constricting very um limiting these very limiting situations where it feels like you're trapped it's almost this claustrophobic feel here where things may have been 
beautiful at one time, but they've it feels like they've sort of served their purpose and and things are ending in a big way and you're moving in a new direction. You're thinking differently, you're moving differently and really deciding to go for what's best for you. Nine of Cups in your incoming energy is wish fulfillment. With the judgment, it's like release and you shall receive, Sagittarius. So I hope that message makes sense. We're going to grab a couple oracle cards before we tap out. I have this Moonology deck. I have the Shaman's Dream Oracle. I have the Kali Oracle as well. What is the message for Sagittarius? 1717. Check that angel number out. You are good enough, Sagittarius. Full moon in Virgo energy here. Show the world the real you. Conclusions are within reach. And then two of them fell out here. Look at the bigger picture. Nothing is yet set in stone. Take time to breathe out. Look at the bigger picture. Conclusions are within reach. You are good enough. I want to say as well, these seeds have already been planted. You're all, you're moving toward your victory. You're building a solid foundation. And so I feel like you're just in this uh, energy of release and clearing right now. I feel like you know this, Sag. What is the message for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Dust devil moving out of stagnation here, experiencing life as it comes. Balance dances on one foot, balancing act. <clears throat> when dances on one foot shows up. You're called to find a new balance. Just as a dancer moves gracefully into each pose, no matter how precariously balanced a step might seem, you must bring equanimity to the situation before you, no matter how thorny or difficult a relationship seems. If you're putting too much effort into managing your life, work, relationship, family, and digital media, you are missing the point. You have to be dancing while juggling your entire life, knowing that at any one time, half of it's going to be up in the air. It's not that you're doing too much and find it impossible to catch up. Rather, it's that you are confusing readiness with pr preparation. You will never, ever be fully prepared for all of the challenges in life, but you can be ready to say yes to a new invitation the universe offers you. Live in a state of yes to spirit and no to everything not infused with life, <clears throat> romance, vitality, and the sacred. Anything that's not bringing balance, harmony, beauty, healing into your life here. You will be surprised by how quickly your load lightens when you hold true to this lesson. You're challenged now to work with the resources available to you and not be seduced by the belief of, if I only had more. Life has provided you with everything you need to accomplish your goals and fulfill your mission. When it feels like you're losing your balance, do not contract, holding your arms close to your chest, for you will fall. Instead, reach out and extend them fully, saying yes to spirit's steadying hand. Beautiful, beautiful. The presence of, a of the dust devil causes a ruckus. Some people are afraid of his chaotic nature, believing that he comes to intentionally stir things up. The truth is, you can't expect this dream ally to behave, to bring niceness, to be clean. His power is in the mess he creates as he calls for you to engage in the full cyclone of life. He represents two aspects to you now. The winds in your outer life appearing to throw you off course where you assume the world is coming at or happening to you and the winds that turn inside of you with the dust devil arising from your dreamscape to help you escape your invisible chains shackling you to a barren desert. Stop asking for things to be perfect. Awkward, messy, conflicted, exuberant, and wild is how you shift. Trust this process. The dust devil knows what you need, when you need it. 
Once things settle, you'll see the gleaming jewels awaiting your discovery, the wisdom awaiting integration. <clears throat> Beautiful. And with the hanged man in the dust devil, you guys, again, I know it maybe has felt like you've been in this chaos or turbulence for some time, but it, it, you're truly the the path is being cleared you are being cleansed you are integrating and you're moving into this beautiful nine of cups energy wow perfect card here as well blue tada it says chaos will give way to the higher order of love let there be peace in your heart as blue tara looks to her right gazing toward the future she sees a vision of your peaceful protected and authentically expressive future you have every right to feel hopeful happy and secure in the destiny that is now unfolding for you you can trust that what is happening now will give way to a new expression when the time is right that right time will be the best time when your readiness matches the requirements for success Attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. And we also have this Artha of Kali card as well. You are forging your authentic path. In support of that, you shall attract great blessings that will benefit all beings. To live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself. Remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing. Trust in what you were born to accomplish. Sagittarius, this is a big message here, family. Just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being in this space with us. Thank you for all of you that have taken the time to watch um, up until this point. Um, and for all of you that have, you know came through with that energy exchange and smashed that thumbs up or drop comments or share these videos or donated to this channel thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart if you've been rocking with me for a minute y'all already know what time it is we're going to use our will and our visualization to draw in this divine cosmic energy this prana this chi this key energy we're going to picture it in the form of white or gold light filling our energetic body um, we are going to pause and hold the breath at the top and imagine ourselves glowing as bright as we possibly can. Um, and then as we exhale, we're going to release like we're filling up one of those little balloons. Very forcefully release um, and picture any negativity, any doubt, any anxiety, any fear, any anger, any sadness, any lower frequencies whatsoever they may be. Picture it all in the form of black or gray smoke or static leaving you so the divine can help us transmute that into this healing, into this ascension, into this guiding light. So let's empty our lungs and get this breath in. Breathe in. Hold it. Squeeze Mulabanda. Raise that energy up out your crown. Now lock it into your heart space and watch yourself glowing as bright as you can. And release Sagittarius family. Love and appreciate y'all, man. Thank you for being here with us today. And I will catch you beautiful beings on the next reading.